thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to talk to you as African Pride Images. Today we want to talk to you on the subject of the on the subject of one people, one nation. And we want to pick it up from there through God's word in the book of Genesis chapter number 11 and verse 1, 2 and 3. Whereby the Bible says that at first the people of the whole world had only one language and used the same words. Verse 2, the Bible says that as they wandered about in the east, they came to a plain in Babylon and settled there. They said to one another, come, one, come on, let's make bricks and bake them hard. So they had bricks to build with and tar to hold them together. So in the state of the nation, we want to talk about what a nation is and how we can unite a nation as a people. So the word nation there simply means a collection of diverse culture or groups of people. These diverse cultures from different kinds of tribes, from different types, from different kinds of tribes. So we see in Genesis chapter 11 verse 1, the first time in the Bible God talks about a tribe. And the Bible clearly says that when the whole world was there, they were speaking one language. And now in many countries there are diverse cultures. And that aspect of the tribe, sometimes it causes a difference in the way in which people handle each other and how the nation runs its affairs. Now the word tribe there comes from the original word ethnicity. Ethnicity also can be translated in Greek as ethnos. Ethnos means peoples. It means cultures. And now the most important aspect of it is that we must be able to learn that God does not look at people as a tribe. But our God looks at people as an image according to his likeness. It means that we carry the whole reflection of God in our lives. So when you see your brother, you are seeing God. When you see your sister, you are portraying that image of God. So we want to read in Genesis chapter 1 also and verse number 26. And then God said, And now we will make human beings. They will be like us and resemble us. They will have power over the fish, the birds, and all animals, domestic and wild, large and small. Now, one thing that I will want us to learn is that God looks as us, as an image according to his likeness. It means that we look like God. It means that the way we relate to one another, it must reflect that picture of God in our lives. One of the things that has really caused separation in the land is one thing that we are really fighting. This issue is the issue of tribalism. Where there is tribalism, there is division. And any time the land is divided in the basis of tribes, then that land is absolutely torn apart. But when we put aside our tribes and accept each other the way they are, and be willing to work with diverse cultures, then we will take our land to another height. So we must be able to put aside our differences, to put aside where we came from, and let's be one, serving one nation and living in one land. Because when we have one nation, then we are people will, that will stand to say we have one tribe. And our common tribe is Kenya. Kenya is our tribe. So let's hold hands together and make sure that all of us preach unity, that all of us are willing to say that my tribe is Kenya. Irrespectful of where you came from, I will love you the way you are. I will embrace what you are doing because we are sharing 
one nation, one nation which is Kenya, which is our heritage, which is the land that we love the most. So let's join hands together and build our nation and put aside tribalism and be joined to people of diverse cultures and we will be able to bring an impact in the land as Kenyans. And you know, there is something very important that we really need to learn. That any time we are divided, definitely we will fall. So together we stand. Divided we fall. So when we stand together as Kenyans to love each other, to embrace our cultures, and to preach, to preach that unity, we are building our land. Because the land will not be built by other people except the Kenyan people. So God bless you as you continue to preach peace and unite Kenya. And I want to remind us that together we stand, divided we fall. God bless you and God bless Kenya.